box. Hey! Fine, be that way. Hey guys, happy weekend! Uh, today's video is going to be pretty short and low quality, but I thought it'd be fun to show you my uh, office space, my uh, studio setup. It's nothing elaborate, as you'll see. Hey Max! So everything happens here in the bedroom. Max's bed is here, but he often just sits on the floor because he's silly. Um, so this is my desk, and this is the camera setup. I'm using a Canon Vixia HRF 600, I think. It's got a 600. Oh, here it is. HFR 600. Excuse me. You probably... It's not going to focus. Um, and so I'm, you can tell I'm filming on my camera, which is why the video and audio quality are not great. Normally I have this dedicated camera so that I don't have to worry about uh, all of the confusion and stuff when filming with my camera. I don't have to worry about battery power or about like getting a text or something mid-recording and having to worry about remembering to turn on airplane mode or any of that. Um, so I have my camera here. This is also really great for when I go out vlogging, uh, when I did Comic-Con and the fair, stuff like that. This is my Blue Yeti microphone, and it has an extra long cord here so that I can move it over to my other setup, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, this uh, light and this tripod both came with the light box that my husband got me. I don't use that very often because it's just easier for me to have the setup here on my desk and um, to not fuss with putting that away and, and taking it out every time I want to use it. So that is uh, tucked away until we need it, which is not very often. And then... Um, the camera uses, I have to turn it off to show you, um, uses an SD card, just a normal SD card. And I use this little guy, which is amazing. I can link it below, but it's an SD card reader, and so it's got the big slot here, it also has a micro SD slot on this side. And then um, when I'm out and about vlogging and things, I can use this little end to plug straight into my phone, edit videos on my phone, and upload them from there. Otherwise, when I'm home, I use the big USB here to plug it into my computer and read the SD card. So that's great. I always use my Chic Sparrow coasters because, you know, you got them, you might as well use them. And then this is my computer. I think I showed this keyboard very briefly uh, when I first got it. The keyboard and the mouse, it's uh, Logitech, and it, you know, has all the fun gamey uh, color variations and rainbow patterns, which is just really fun. Um, it's a membrane keyboard, but it does clack kind of, which is good. Um, and then my monitor here is actually mounted to the wall uh, because this desk, which I forget what it's called. It's from Ikea, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll post it below if I can remember what the name is or figure out what the name is. I really like that it has these little drawers. Um, they lock with a key, this little key here. So I've got some stuff in here. This is where I keep my um, my friction pens, my checkbook, a couple things, um, so that these are handy. But it's sort of set up in an awkward way where I don't have a lot of desk space either above or below, and there's really not room for a monitor stand to sit comfortably here or underneath. So I have it mounted to the wall so I don't have to worry about a stand. Um, and so it actually also will turn and face the bed if I want it to, but just to make sure it doesn't like get too wobbly, it's sitting here on the little box that our Comic-Con 2017 um, badges came in. It's just the right height. Little, you know, toys and knickknacks. This little inbox, which you probably can't see with the light this way, came from um, Daiso. It's just a cheapy little box that I use for various things that I don't want to like clutter the desk. So they're sort of not cluttered if they're in here. You know, the washi tape I'm using for decorating this week, a couple pens that probably should be put away, some floss for a current project. And when I actually film, I turn this guy straight up and I turn this guy on. This is going to get glary. Ah! And so that it's all diffuse light and then I film from the top down like this. And so this guy, it does go up and this, you know, moves around and stuff. This guy will go up and then like in and out. Um, until this month, I actually had it on a stack about maybe eight inches high or something, maybe six inches high of books, uh, like comic books and, um, like yearbooks and stuff like that. 
uh, and this was then like sort of pointed more down. But since I've moved to the pocket, I don't need it to be quite as far away from the filming surface. And so this, where it is right now, is just perfect for the height of the pocket um, with just like a little bit of wiggle room. If you see my videos with the pocket uh, size Chic Sparrow in it, you'll see that it just fits. So this works well. Um, I have the microphone sitting on the bottom of the stand just to make it a little bit less likely to fall over. But it does stay pretty steady without that too. The chair is just this normal folding chair, so when you hear it creaking in the middle of recording, that's just me trying to get comfortable. Uh, here's my computer. I built it myself. Isn't it beautiful? The Wii U sits on top, um, and the charger, like the, what's it called, the tablet is charging on top here, and then this is like the, rec the uh, volume control for my speakers, which are also Logitech here. And the subwoofer down here is basically a really terrible storage situation. Um, this is a dust cover of my, this is the dust cover that came with my first Chic Sparrow, I think. And this is where I keep all of my used inserts. It is not elegant, and I really need to come up with a better solution. But for now, I just kind of have them in a bag, tucked under my desk. My old Moleskine journal is down here, too. Uh, so that they are accessible if I need to reference something that happened a few months ago. Don't pay attention to that rest nest of wires. But um, yeah, I need to find somewhere to put those on the desk. Then over here is a set of plastic drawers. Um, down these bottom two are like current projects, uh, craft projects that I'm working on. There's like some knitting needles and yarn and other things in there. These top two, like this drawer here, has a couple random things like my old wallet I'm not using right now. Um, there's like a moleskin insert. This is mostly the things that I use to create inserts. So here's my Rhodia dot pad, some other like printer paper that I use, my knife and ruler that I use to cut, and my corner rounder, uh, stuff like that. And then the top drawer mostly is full of other pens. Lots and lots of pens. My Stabilas, my Tombos, and various miscellaneous, my mild liners, and then some other like Crayola stuff in there. My friction refills. And then, uh, yeah, like glue and sticky notes and stuff. And then on top of it, because it doesn't fit in the drawer, I have my stapler and my paper cutter. The stapler is just a normal swing line 747, like you see in any old office. Um, it's big enough to staple inserts for the personal size, um, but only just. This is the paper cutter I use. It's a Cricut something, cheapy from Michaels. And I really need to get a new um, blade for it because this one's getting pretty dull and leaving kind of ragged edges when I cut. But that has to sit on top. We have very limited space here, um, but everything that I need pretty much stays within arm's reach when I'm at my desk here recording. This is the bed. Uh, we'll see I've recorded some vlogs here. Uh, these pillows, you may not have gotten a good look at them, but they were a wedding gift from my cousin. She's a cat, she's a keeper, of course there are Quidditch references. And you've probably also seen a little bit of, uh, this picture is from our wedding. So there we are, so cute. And I'm not going to get into the mess that's on my nightstand. I was asked once if V was for Vendetta. No, V is for Valderrama. <laughs> and then finally, this is the family living room. I live with my in-laws, so this is like a uh, joint space that we all use. Hey! Um, so I've recorded some vlogs out here as well, like intros to videos and things like that. Um, so here's a little bit more space. With the mirror right behind me, I can't leave this light on while I record because that's all you'll be able to see in the video because it'll bounce off the mirror. So there's a little bit more I uh, have context for those shots. I put the tripod here and if you are keen eared you'll notice that the sound is a little bit off uh, or different on those clips. If I do like an intro here and then do the top down in the other room. In there I'm using my uh, Blue Yeti microphone but out here I'm just using the microphone that's on the um, the camcorder because I I don't really have a laptop that works like well enough for me to want to sit around and wait for it to boot up just so that I can record out here so it just I don't really mind too much and I hope you guys don't either
so that's the studio tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes of my channel. It's not much. Uh, someday we're going to get our own house and then maybe we'll have a little bit more room to spread out, have certain things set up more often instead of having to worry about putting things away and all of that. I might use the light box more if we have a space to keep it up all the time. But for now, this is what I've got and it's working pretty well, I think. So um, thank you guys for watching and tune in again on Tuesday, Thursday, and next Sunday for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.